Cafe Commerce has no limit to how many products you can add to your store. You can add any combination of digital or physical goods that you'd like to sell. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add those products to your store. Now, the first thing you want to do if you've just signed up for a Cafe Commerce account and you're ready to populate your catalog is to clear the demo data. You want to do this because the demo data includes fake orders and fake customers, and you don't want those to stay in your store when you start receiving real orders. You don't want to confuse the fake orders with the real orders. So I'm going to clear the demo data, and now you see that my entire store is empty. Before you populate your Cafe Commerce catalog with products, you want to first add categories to organize those products. Categories are optional, but as you add categories, the side navigation on the product catalog page will automatically be populated for you. So for my example, I'm going to add a category for clothing and a category for coffee. Now you can enter any subcategories that you'd like by clicking the Manage Subcategories button under the category that you'd like and click Add Subcategory. Now if you return to Categories, now that, now that I've added my two categories, I'm ready to add my products. So under Products, choose Add Product. And on this page, you can enter all the details for the product that you're adding to your catalog. The first question is whether or not you want to make this item available to purchase. If this checkbox is selected, as soon as you save this product to your catalog, it'll also become available for purchase on your live store. So I'm ready to, once I, so once I add this product to my catalog, I want my customers to be able to buy it, so I'm going to leave that checkbox selected. Now, if you are selling a digital good, I would select the checkbox to say that this product is a downloadable file. That will then allow me to specify a product file for the product that I'm selling, and I would go about entering all the details for this product then. For my first product, I'm going to add a t-shirt. So I'm going to enter the product name, and once you've entered the product name, the Cafe Commerce instantly creates a SEO-friendly URL for that product. Now I'm going to enter the price. For all, now if you had a SKU system for all of your products, you can enter the SKU for that product here. Now an important feature of Cafe Commerce is the inventory management. So you want to make sure when you're adding a product that you enter how many you have in stock. So in my warehouse, I currently have 20 of these t-shirts in stock, and when a customer purchases one of these t-shirts, the number in my inventory will be reduced, so making sure that when it gets to zero, customers will not be able to purchase that t-shirt. And of course, I want to select the category that my, t my products are in. So I'm going to choose the clothing category, and by holding down the control key on my keyboard, I can also choose the t-shirt subcategory. So that's the basics for adding a product to your catalog. I'm going to click Save Product. And as you can see now, that product has now been added. So now let me show you how you can make some more modifications to your, to your products in your catalog. From this page, you can click Update, and it takes you to the same page that you were at before, allowing you to update the details for your product. If you choose the Descriptions tab, you can enter a short description and a long description for your products. The short description will display on the product catalog page next to each of the items. So this allows you to enter some basic information about the product. When the customer clicks the Learn More button, they'll be taken to the product detail page where they'll be able to read the long description. The long description, you can add as much information as you'd like, including additional images or flash videos or even tables if you need to. On the Images tab, you can upload as many images as you want for this product. To upload, your first image for your to upload the first image for this product, click the Browse icon here. And this will open the File Manager where you can upload images and make modifications to those images, including crop, resize, or rotate. So the first thing you want to do is click Choose File. And here I have three images that I want to use for my product. I'm going to Control click or if you're on a Mac, Command click to select all three of those images and click Open. And now that it indicates that I've selected three files, I'm going to click Upload and those files will be uploaded. Now with those files already selected, I'm going to click OK, and they're automatically added to my Cafe Commerce store. All I need to do now is click Update Product, and then back onto the Product Results page, if I click the View in Store button, I can see what the product looks like on my store. Now as you can see, I probably don't want the back of my t-shirt to be the, the first image that displays when you go to this, when you view this product. So let me show you how you can reorder images back on the products page, simply click to update the product. And on the images tab, simply drag the images to be in the order that you would like. Once you click update product, you can check out your product again. You'll see that the first product that is selected is now the front-facing blue t-shirt.
So now let me show you a few of the additional settings that you can change for your products. On the SEO tab, you have the ability to specify page title, keywords, and descriptions for your products. And on the additional settings tab, you can enter a retail price, you can enter the product's weight, and you can also specify any additional shipping or handling charges that you'd like to charge. Now it's important to note that the weight is, a, is necessary for correctly calculating the shipping rate if you're using the shipping rate lookup feature that you can configure under the settings. In addition, you can also check this box to specify dates that you want to sell this product. For example, let's say you are doing a promotion where you have a special product that you don't want to sell past a certain time. You can actually specify those dates here. Also, if you have a product that you want to that's not going to be released for a few more weeks, you can specify the date when that product is going to be released. So what I want to show you next is how to add product options. As you can see with this product, I have two different colors that I'm going to be selling, the orange t-shirts and the blue t-shirts. I'm also going to be selling this t-shirt in two different sizes, small and large. So now let me show you how you can add the options so that your customer can indicate what, what size and color they want to purchase. So on the update product page, once you've saved the product into your database, you have a Manage Options button that you can select. By clicking the Manage Options button, you're taken to the Manage Options page for this product. And the first step is to add a group. In the Group Name field, you're going to enter the name of the drop-down that you want to add to, your, to the product catalog page. For example, with my t-shirt, I'm going to have two groups, color and size. You may also have width if you're selling products that come in different widths, for example. So in this situation, I'm going to add color first, and select Add Group, and now I'm going to add one more group, which is going to be the size group. So now I have my two groups, the next thing I need to do is add the options within those groups. So if you click the green plus icon next to the group that you're going to add an option to, and then enter the option, so in this situation my first option is going to be blue, it's going to be blue, and then one more time I'm going to add the orange option. So now you see that I have blue and orange available under color. And now under size, I'm going to add the two more, two more options, which is small and large. So now I've added all the options for my product. Now at the bottom, it shows me the variations of my product. So here's the information for my blue small t-shirt. Here's the information for my orange small t-shirt and my blue large t-shirt and so on. Now with Cafe Commerce, you can modify the price, the SKU, the weight, the inventory level and whether or not that individual variation is available for sale straight from within this page. So for example if my large t-shirts are a dollar more than the small t-shirts I simply need to change the information here from $9.99 to $10.99. So now my large t-shirts will be one dollar more than my small t-shirts. Now it's also important that you maintain inventory for, the, for each variation. So I have 20 blue small t-shirts. Now I need to go into how much I have for all the other for the other variations. Now that I've entered that information, I'm going to save my variations. And let's go check out what it looks like on the live store. So here's the page before we added the options. Now I'm going to refresh this page. Now you can see that I have drop downs for both color and size. The customer can simply click and choose the variation that they want, and as you notice when I chose the large t-shirt, the price updated to $10.99. So now let me show you the process for adding a digital good. If you click Add New Product, this time I would choose that this product is a downloadable file. And here I'm going to enter the name for the product. For this example, I'm going to be selling an ebook that my customers can download. And in the product name field, I'm going to label it as an ebook to make it clear in the product catalog that this is a, this is a a book for downloading. Then you want to enter the price for the product, and again the SKU, and any appropriate categories. I'm now going to jump to the Images tab, and I'm going to select the image for this product, in the same way as, as I did the t-shirts. I only have the one image, but it's definitely possible if you were selling a digital book that you could show pages that are samples of some of the pages of the book. So I'm going to click Choose File to select the file that I'm going to upload, and I have an EPUB file for my book. So now I've selected that file, click Save Product, and that digital book has been added to my catalog. As you can see, the inventory is unlimited because I can sell as many of these as I'd like without running out of inventory. And it's indicated here as a downloads, which means it's a downloadable product.
So in this video we've shown you how to add products to your catalog, both digital and physical goods, including a physical goods product with options. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.